Hello and thank you for joining us. In tough economic times, it's a whopping check. The Minister of Health has announced a $50 million investment for Calgary and Edmonton hospitals to address their limited space. The government says the facelifts will improve the quality of care. But with so much speculation about a spring election, some wonder if this is just a promise in order to get your vote. Raheem Ladani reports. It's been almost a year since Richard Abenbrock's wife, Joyce, passed away from congestive heart failure. She was my best friend, and uh, I feel like half of me has been ripped away. When Joyce was sick, Abenbrock experienced firsthand how a hospital's limited space can impact a patient's care. She's lying in the bed, and I'm sitting there beside her, draped over the bed, leaning against it, waiting for a room. She'd be sitting inside the um, emergency room for hours, up to six. But now, Alberta's health minister says that he's looking to solve that wait time problem. Stephen Mandel announced a $50 million emergency room renovation budget to increase capacity in hospitals across Calgary and Edmonton. In Calgary, the money will be split between the Peter Lougheed Centre and South Health Campus. If people can't move effectively out of the emergency rooms into the hospitals, then they can't move through a system. It didn't take long, though, for the minister's announcement to come under fire. Liberal MLA David Swan released a statement accusing Mandel of not addressing the root cause. Swan claims the real issue is that patients aren't being moved out of the hospital to their needed level of care. These particular steps will help, but it's not going to be overnight solutions. Uh, I wish I could wave a magic wand and change it. For Richard Abenbrock, the money isn't nearly enough to fix the problem. And with an election upcoming, thinks the timing is suspicious. A lot more should be done and it's just um, a band-aid solution. It's just uh, smoke and mirrors. Raheem joins us now. So Raheem, what other initiatives are included in this announcement? Well, Tara, Alberta Health Services will open 186 new restorative care spaces in Calgary to help seniors improve their functionality after being in hospital. Also in the announcement were new regulations for paramedics. They'll now be able to do more work in clinics and work with non-physicians, such as nurse practitioners. The goal here is to let paramedics do more work and provide more care in time-sensitive situations. Now, these projects will probably take around two years to be completed and will be getting funding through the province's Alberta Senior, excuse me, province's Alberta Supportive Living Initiative. Okay, Raheem Ladani reporting tonight.